pot. We got that one done and this is the next one. Bring it over the house and then this dead, 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 dead one. It's got hard lean over the house there, but. George. Yep. One and one. One and one is two. Two and two is eight. <laughs> it's a nice tree. Yeah, there they are. Alright guys, um, these are two trees that we fixing to get down, of course. We just got done doing that maple, the one I did the video on. And uh, I have very limited space, so I just decided I'd do the uh, time lapse. And the battery was really low. So, um, uh, so I run out of, my battery goes dead is what happens. I may they may have been enough space for the time lapse, but anyway, this battery ended up going dead. But we do get these two done, and uh, then the, uh, George and Philip here, they do they go across the road and they there's a tree that's broke out over there. It's it's barber chaired from the storm. Um, I let I I just I get it down. I don't have to climb it or nothing. I go ahead and get it on the ground. And they they cut it up and pile it up and everything for the guy. And you know he you know I just let them like a side job for them. So I think they make like like a hundred bucks or something like that doing that. So um, that's the kind of stuff I do for these guys. So um, that's why I think you, as an employer or as a friend or family or anything, I think you should do people like that. So it's not all about money. Um, but anyway, hope everybody enjoys these little videos. I'm like I said, I'm not very experienced at any of this stuff as far as. Uh, video and so I'm I'm guarantee I'm gonna make tons of mistakes like this and I would not ever have thought the time lapse would be like super warp speed and this is actually slowed all the way down to like nothing on the Viva video I got the time the sl the speed all the way to zero as far or as not zero but like 25 but anyway here it is hope you guys enjoy We know YouTube. Um, there you go, guys. A few little glimpses or videos of climbing on just, you know, just a few little jobs. Um, oh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you can tell, I flip line up everything just about, unless it's. Uh, something very massive and i'll throw a line to you know a major limb if i'm gonna have to you know you know flip on up and redo my flip lines and if i got it's gonna take me 30 minutes to get up it and you know throwing ropes you know what i'm saying because I'll, I'll flip line up until i hit a limb a big limb like if if i can't rig it out right there i'll just you know i'll i'll throw my line up my my my, my 20 foot line up and then I'll I'll tie in kinda, cause I take my I take my I take my climbing rope with me. You, well, you seen how I do? I take my climbing rope, my pull rope, I take my rigging ropes. I, I climb up with them. That way I can rig as I go. And uh, it's usually I like doing it that way. It's fast. It's efficient. Um, it's uh, and I'm I'm adapted to it. You know I've been doing it for so so long. Uh, I don't even notice it's there um, uh, at all. So uh, and. Uh, so, so you know, so I'll go up, and if I hit a big, big fork, that I have to, you know, you know, undo my flip line and go around it. I'll just throw up to a limb above me, tie in, and I'll, then I'll just walk up. You know, that's how I do it until I get up to a tie-in point. But I'll, I'll rig out as I go. You, you seen the, the thing that I made, uh, and I, I rig out as I go if I can. If I can rig it as I go up, if I can rig it out, it's coming out. As I go, and then whenever I get up there tied in, I'll come back down. I'll take out, do all the rigging I got to, and uh, and uh, it's very fast that way. For one, I don't overwhelm the the ground crew. I'm getting a little bit as I go up and taking stuff out as I go, and uh, and it, it, the jobs get done super fast that way. 
you know, because I'm not overwhelmed. They're not a big pile down there. I'm not having to wait too long. But, you know, sometimes I get over, if, if I can just run up them and whack them, um, I have to, I'll wait, I have to wait on them to, you know, pull it out of the way and, and clean it up as they go because they can do a very good job, guys. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this. I do flip line up everything. I think it's great for my situation here for these 70, 80 foot tall trees. I'm not, I've not climbed no 200 foot tall, uh, anything like that. But if I did climb a Douglas fir or anything like that, um, I don't know that I'd go all the way to the top of it and then come back down and rig it out. I mean, I would, I mean, I would rig it out as I went. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. Uh, because the way I would, you know, that's just, that's just me. I would do it as I go up. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to go up and then come back down. And I'm definitely not going to throw a rope up into an unknown situation, unknown factor, unknown uh, anything, you know. So uh, I'm not going to do that. And then most people that do the SRT anyway, they're not flip lined in. They're just uh, ascending, foot ascending up a, a tree. And there's unknown variables up there that they're dealing with. So it could be hollow. It could be, there could be a ton of things. Uh, if you wa watch people's videos, you'll see them when they get up there like, oh man, you know, they change, they have to change their underwears. But anyway, hope everybody enjoys. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to do a few more videos. I got a video that I haven't posted yet of the very first job we did yesterday. But the guy, the guy is a congressman and uh, I don't think he's going to care because he don't, you know, I don't think, I don't think he was on there enough for anybody to notice who he was. But uh, anyway, um, I kind of had a little bit of conversation with him about a doctor friend that we have together that um, I do work for and uh, hopefully I can post that. It's just a, it took us 23 minutes to take, clean the tree up and get it out of there, roughly 23 minutes. It really ain't worth posting, but uh, it's just kind of, it's just, we got there about 7 o'clock in the morning. He called me. We, I told him, I said, we can come by there before we go do the other job. Uh, got there about 7 o'clock that morning. By 7.30, was done, had it cleaned up. Um, it's a quick hundred dollars. It's just a hundred bucks. And uh, then we was off to the other one and, you know, did two or three more jobs and just like when we did, got them two white oaks done, we got that done, and then George and Philip went across the road, and there was a, a tree over there that is barber chaired, and I cut it and got it down, and uh, they they cleaned it all up. I let them have that job. I let them split the money on it, so my hand wasn't in it at all because I was pretty I was, I was pretty gone at that time. I'm pretty wore out. I was pretty wore out anyway. I was having a little bit of trouble re breathing, but. Because earlier in the day, it wasn't too bad. The wind was blowing. It was nice. It was nice. You know, you're swaying up there a little bit, but uh, it, it's keeping me cool. But then as I started getting hot and sweating and maybe getting to a dehydrated point, I was I was really having a rough time breathing. So, uh, but then again, you know, my inhaler and stuff could have been wearing off. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, we went this morning to do a job, but we got rained out. It's a very... It's probably about 110 foot tall red oak, dead, dead, dead. They let it go way too far. Uh, I get they had other people come out and look at it, um, and some of them wouldn't take it because it's there. You can't get back there with nothing. You have to climb it. Um, it's it's going to be one of them situations. Uh, so we're going to have to see. Uh, and I tried to tack it onto this morning because I got to get my boys this evening. Uh, I got to get my boys in the, like next hour. So uh, I was trying to go ahead and get this done this morning, but it rained us out. So we'll tack it on to one a day sometime here in the next future. Tomorrow we're supposed to start a big job, though. Um, big tons of climbing, like 30-something trees. So um, I'll go as far as I can until I get tired, and then I'll quit and let them do all the work. But the boys, uh, uh, it's gonna be, it ain't going to be too bad, though. Anyway, um, that's enough of that. Like I said, uh, can of worms is talking about flip lining. I love it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, I feel like I'm 100% control, just like August said. People don't do it because they're uncomfortable with it. They don't ever. They ain't never been. Uh, after you get yourself, a, I don't. You need to watch August's video, the round table. I loved it. It was a great video. Everybody laid it right there on how it is. Uh, just how it is. That's just how life. That's how it is. I mean, if you ain't brushing a gutter or two, you're not trying to take out, I mean, you know what I mean? You, 
I take out big sections. You can see these videos. You see, I, I'm, I, I'll am i take out the biggest sections I can. I'm not going to sit up there all day and rig and rig and rig. And I'm not going to make 5,000 cuts whenever. Uh, uh, I even said on one video, I think, on the video, you know, this limb, the limbs probably weigh five or 600 pounds. The rope's rated for like 14,000. And I know it's not, it's not going to, the impact is not going to be that drastic to break me out. So, and on that five or 600 pound one, I mean, you've seen what I did anyway. I, I, I just, if you listen, I don't know if I, I don't know if I was going fast or not at that time, but, uh, I said, I don't know how I did the video. I don't know if I would speed it through it, but but over over the house, there's a limb coming out. It's the last limb I cut. It was going to hit the top of the other tree. And it's a very big limb. Instead of going up there and trimming all that out, cleaning it all up so it wouldn't hit the limb, well, I just went ahead and rigged it. And just, I let it, I just, I knew, I, I just let it cut it and let it go over and get into it. And then I just, I just cut the bottom out and just let it kind of slip down, and then it, it, you know, it took away all the impact. It took all the jerk in the way. It just it kind of and it just tightened up on my rope and then swung right down. It was it was, it was pretty nice, but I do stuff like that all the time. So anyway, hope everybody has a great day. Everybody, give me a thumbs down. See you.